Hello everyone, welcome back to Train Sim World once again, NEC New York DLC. We're going to go to a scenario and continue. Last time we did the terminal switch, which was with the uh, the freight train, but we're going to do city lights today. I have not done anything uh, in this one yet, uh, so it's all going to be a surprise to me. Take to the controls of a train at New Rochelle and operate it through to New York Penn Station. It should take 25 minutes. We'll see how long it actually ends up taking, but uh, it should be fun. City lights back in the Amtrak train once again. We'll get some speed as well. Check it out. It's loading everything in right now. And we're near track three. Welcome to New Rochelle. Today you'll be running a southbound service into the terminus at New York Penn. All right, sounds good. Uh, we need to change tracks, so head over to track four. We will do that. Let's do that right now. A little bit of hiccup action happening there. That's okay. A big thank you to all of you that have been supporting the train sim on the channel. I do know there's a new version of this game coming out. I'm, I haven't been really super excited about it, but we'll see um, how it, uh, it ends up turning out. Because it looks pretty much, uh, to me, like the same game. Just a little more polish on it. But we'll we'll see. I'll be uh, I'll hold a, uh, a little bit of optimism towards it. Okay. Climb aboard. Sit in the engineer's seat of the lead locomotive. Oh, we don't have to switch tracks. We just had to go across. Okay. That sounds good to me. I do love this train. It is a lot of fun to drive. Pinch point. Careful now. All right. There we go. Close the door after ourselves. And they want us to sit in the chair right there. All right. Set the reverser to the forward position. We can do that. No problem. It's right up here. Woo. Man. Yeah. I'm going to just use the mouse because it's way too sensitive for the controller forward there we go let's make sure all our lights and everything are good to go as well objective complete mm. unlock doors oh yeah gotta remember to do that all right let's unlock the doors on the left hand side i had to turn on the uh the lights the marker lights there and they're loading passengers right now beautiful there's our front headlight there ditch lights we'll turn those on as well all the way to the flashing. There we go. All right, loading the passengers right now. Waiting for that to be taken care of. We're gonna look at the train outside here, and there we are. We got the ditch lights going. We're ready to rock and roll here. Any moment, just waiting. Passengers are loaded. Let's go ahead and lock the left side doors. Come on, come on. This thing is being real dumb, real dumb. There we go. Ready to depart. Turn that bell off. We're not listening to that this time. I'm sorry. Uh, ready to depart. Set the automatic brake to release and apply power with the master controller. All right. So automatic brake to release. I guess it's that's the master controller. Automatic brakes right here to release. There we go. And let's start going to the Penn Station. Bring up speed there. There we go. Bell's off. We're going to bring this baby up to speed ever so slightly. 16 miles. We can do it. That's independent brake. I don't want that. So X changes between your different brakes. We have learned. That's good to know. So now we'll have automatic brake ready to go for us. And we're getting up to speed now. Using our master controller here to to maintain speed. Pull back a little bit here. About 50. We're good there. Green on our side. We got green signal all the way, baby. That's what we want to see. We're up to speed. That looks awesome. It really does look nice. Beautiful train. Beautiful train. Let's slow down a little bit. That'll work for me. We still got green looking good. Just going to keep it right at about 1% right now. We're just a little fast, but not too much. There we go. We don't want to go too fast because if we go too fast, we'll probably get in trouble for that. I want to say. 15 miles. Boy, it's nice and uh, relaxing, isn't it? Just a little bit. Oh, we get our speed up now. We are cleared up all the way. 80 miles per hour, folks. 
We're at maximum now. And we might be able to see it with the flyby camera here. This is how fast we're going. Oh, that thing is cruising. That is a cruising. That is fast. But that's what we want it to be. These things don't mess around. 0.6 miles to the next green signal. 100 miles per hour. Wow. I don't think so. We're going to kill our power to idle right now. Kind of just coast up this way. But we're, we've, we've got a lot of speed going right now. We're good. About 80 miles per hour is what they want us to be at. How many crossings coming up? I don't think so. Speed limit has been increased, but we're going to be 45 coming up. So in 1.4 miles. Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to crank our baby up. And then we'll uh, we'll bring it down when we have to. This thing is cruising right now, though. Look at this. Woo! Whizzing by. 88 miles per hour, Marty! Yes! All right. We're going to start pulling our power back here in just a minute. Idle that guy. We're 0.7 miles. So it's not going to take long to get there. Or this is just to the 45 mile an hour zone. That works for me. And we'll start adding some suppression on our brakes. Get this thing slowed. Down to 45 here. So we aren't busting through here at a crazy speed. There's another train. Hello. Nice. 100 yards to 45. Bring down a little bit more, a little bit more than that. Minimum application. Nailed it. We're a little fast, but not not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that, honestly. It's in a 45 here for this section. A little bit of power here. Nothing too crazy. Look at that. And 70 miles an hour, we're going to be back to 70 soon enough, which is really cool. Pull back that power a little bit. Don't want to go too fast. Here we go. Back to 70. In just a moment, once the tail end of the train passes that, we'll be good to go. Green signal, 12 miles. Oop, not yet. Wait for the train to pass. There it went. Crank her back up to 70 here. We got a yellow signal, so we're going to be careful. Well, it said green there. All right, now it's green. That's good. 60 miles an hour, 70 miles an hour. Oh, they want us back to 60. All right. We'll keep it right around there then. All right. Not much to this train, man. It doesn't take much to get this thing going. Like at all. I was hoping we get some crossings coming up here, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. So we can use our, our horn. Oh, they do use horns in uh, tunnels, I believe, if memory serves correct. Look at that. Right here at 60 miles an hour. Perfect. It'll be 70 and 400 yards. 1.4 miles to the station. Not too shabby. This thing's got great brakes on it, too. And 65, 2.1 miles. Oh, 11 miles to our distance. Okay. Well, that's good. Let's bring it back up to speed. Get some more speed in this bad boy. Not for the hell of it. Let's just uh, use our horn. No crossings, really, but we don't ever get to. Turn that bell off. Don't need the bell. It just auto turns the bell on whenever we use the horn. Watching speed here. Just managing it the best we can. Bring it down a little bit. All right. Use the outside view for this. Enjoy a little bit of the route. And 
There's the green signal there. We're still green, 1.4 miles to that one. Pull power back to idle a little bit here. I'm gonna go so crazy on it. Well, it's not wanting to slow down very much, is it? Let's go ahead and add a little bit of application to brake there to get it back down to 70. There we go. Use that. Seems to be pretty happy with it, doesn't it? All right, 65, we're almost there. How are we looking here? Still maintaining 65. You got it. It's going to be a 55 soon. Seventy here. With some weird uh, speed limits through here, isn't there? Just a little bit. Now three hundred to the fifty-five. Here we go. A little bit of suppression on that. I'm gonna slow it down. No problem. Nice. Just paying attention to what we're doing here today. Try not to screw it up too bad. Look outside. Let's let's open that window up. Let me hear this thing. Going to be 60 here in a moment. The train there. Whoosh. Ran our speed back up. That window down too, but why not? Turn the bell off. Bring that back. Ooh, perfect timing too. We'll hit the next speed limit, but it's gonna be 60 again, so. <laughs> Just gotta pay attention to those. Minimum application to that. Get hit 60 perfect. There we go. Release it. Because we're going down the grade a little bit. 0.6 degree, uh, percent grade. It is 60 through here, so that's working for me. Now we're on the even part there. We'll just put a little bit of 5% of power into it to maintain our 60 miles per hour. A little bit more than that, maybe. That looks awesome. Amtrak to New York Penn. I love it. A little school bus there. Just watching our speed, enjoying the uh, the view as well. More power here to get up the hill. be 40 miles per hour coming up here so let's go ahead and just idle that sucker a little bit of suppression here for the for the 40 zone there we go release that oh yeah nailed that speed zone didn't we that wasn't bad at all not bad at all One point five miles to the green signal there. Be fifty through here. Let's bring it up. Getting speed back up. Trying to maintain that speed right now. As we got a little bit of a climb here with a one point two percent uphill.
Beautiful. And we'll be back to 50 here. We don't have to touch a thing. Just maybe a little bit back on the power. And we have to make our left turn this way. That's nice. That's real nice. And all the buildings, and the bridges. So I take it we were uh, we were at upstate New York or we were on Long Island or something. I'm not really sure how that works, but we're headed into New York City. That's for certain. We're holding a great speed right here with uh, with all this setting the way it is. And we're at zero percent on the grade and just enjoy it. Speed up a little bit here. Going downhill now, that's why. Add a little bit more power. There we go. Oh, okay, that was real dumb. It was one of those ones where it just wanted you to, to do that for just a little bit. Let me get our speed back. So are any of you excited for the new train sim? World, uh, the 2020 one? I don't know. Like I said in the beginning, I'm just not sure on that. We've got to get rail driver support, number one. Like, it really sucks not to be able to use my rail driver. Uh, on top of that, VR support, is that ever going to happen? Probably not. Not with this game, at least. I get a lot of people wanting me to try out Run 8, and I know about Run 8. It's just, it's, it's really advanced simulation one, which is great. But... Graphics are really outdated. We can all agree that, um, ooh, I want to go back. Uh, put that idle there. A little bit of power, a little bit of brakes here. How about that? Minimum application of that to maintain the 60. That'll work. Um, we can all agree this game is pretty. Pretty, pretty game. Go to the outside view again. What is. All in butt down to New York Penn. I was hoping we get to see some of the skyline here, but maybe we will. Still could be done. Almost at the 50 mile an hour zone here. to idle on that guy because they want us to hit 50. We are slowing for it. We have a downgrade. Going downhill. Going down. At least that. Oh, huge hiccup there. That was strange. The speeds are just kind of so jumpy on this line. They really are. Remember, they said 25 minutes to complete this. We'll see. Uh, we're 4.5 miles to our destination. We're probably going to be going down into a uh, tunnel, I would imagine. Let's see if that's the case. Because Penn Station's huge. Down the hill we go. I'm not sure what the mass controller B is. Maybe that's like the help for braking. It's almost like dynamic brakes. It seems like that that's what that is. So that's cool. Getting used to it. Bring this thing back up to 60 now. Okay. Make your mind up. A little bit more. Doesn't look like we have a speed zone coming up anytime soon, so we'll get back up to 60. There we go, holding right here. 
And if it's increasing in speed by one mile per hour, we'll just back it off a little bit. It seems to be doing all right. There we go. A little bit back on that. There's downtown right off our nose. You see that? That's cool. Got a yellow signal here. There we go. Just kind of watching that as we go downhill. A lot more brake needed on the master controller here. Now I'm getting the hang of it. Ah, oh, we're definitely going to go into a tunnel. Nice. Pull that back a little bit more. It's a 1.9% grade down. We're doing okay. So far, so good. Golly, we're starting to get a hold of the game. Understand how it, how it all works, kind of, sorta. Of. Lose some of that back. Just won't lose speed. We got to be on time. I've been appreciating the uh, comments you guys have been la uh, leaving underneath the videos on these. It helps me understand some parts of the train, like the dynamic brakes when you use those, things like that. It's one of those things, if I, uh, if I did it more often, I'd probably be better at it. I just rarely play uh, train sims. Man, we are deep down here in, uh, no, we're going up now. Okay. Bring some speed to the to the train here. More speed than that as we climb this hill. There we go. It's starting to get that taken care of. Fifteen miles per hour. Jeez, dude. You kidding me? At least that. And we're getting there, but it's gonna be fifteen miles an hour soon. I'll say that right now. I thought it was going to come up a lot faster than that. But that is not the case. Okay, here we are. There we are. Welcome to Penn Station, folks. Yeah, there it was. Like Insta 15 mile an hour on that. Oops, really messed that one up, didn't we? Oh, yeah, we have to release that. Oh, Lord. Really messed up. We were doing so well. Why can't I get this thing to go? Oh, I had to bring it back to idle, that's why. Yeah, we were doing so well on this one, and I screwed it up right at the end. More speed than that. Don't be shy.
We're going on the right side here. Oh, they have like a red thing painted out where the train's supposed to stop, I guess. Okay. Let's idle this sucker on in here. Not a problem at all. It's the green right there. Man, those brakes are insane. There they go. All right, so that's good to go. Uh, we're gonna make sure our brakes are uh, set, full service. Oop. Full service, there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, unlock the doors on the right. And that is that. Very nicely done. We almost had it taken care of and then we kind of screwed it up with turning those ditch lights off. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we kind of screw screwed it up there getting into Penn Station, but that was to be expected. It can't always go well. But I'm pretty sure this is the end of the line for this one. See how long it actually took us. Wait until 17.14.30. Really? Okay. I guess we can do that. Now, now we just have to wait to finish this. So... I will wait 15 seconds away from the end of our wait time here. Um, I guess we were ahead of schedule, which is good. It's always going to be ahead of schedule rather than being late. That's what we want. Day and night brightness. Hmm. That's cool. Objective complete. All right. They probably want us to set reverser to neutral. You've got it. That's a neutral. Disembark. Okay. We can do that. On out we go. Ooh, that that way. Gotcha. Open the door. I'll close the door. And just gotta walk a few yards this way. Not too bad at all. Can we go in here? We can. Let's see what this is all about. Hello, people. How you doing? Hope you enjoyed your trip today. I sure enjoyed it myself. That was awesome. Walk over here. Objective complete. We did it. City lights. Uh, New York Penn, 1714. Time was 1711. So we got there uh, early. Fantastic. Three minutes early. Took 30 minutes and 12 seconds. Miles driven, 19.54. Uh, we walked 210 yards. Not a big deal. And that's our final score. Well, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of Train Sim World. I will see you all next time. Take care.